Well, he's one of the men of the hour right now in the world of Canadian soccer. It is CanPL alum and current Corona Kielsa player, defender extraordinaire, and recent call-up to the Canadian men's national team, Dominic Sator. Dom, first of all, great to see you. And most importantly, thanks for spending some time with us. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me on. And inevitably, this is A, a dream for so many young Canadian footballers, and B, probably an exciting and whirlwind time for you right now. But before we get into the, the national team, I, I kind of want to rewind with you because you are one of few incredible stories that we've seen so far. And you won't be the last, certainly, but it's you celebrate those successes. Walk us through, if you could, this decade and this this year for you. You go from the Calgary Dinos to Whitecaps to Cavalry, York, Canadian Championship success and become a leader in your own country. And then you get that move to Poland. The success, the dream of finally going to Europe. This process is always so fascinating. How have you experienced it? Yeah, I mean... It, it, it's not the it's not the easiest journey. I mean, every every player's got their own journey. Mine was definitely not the the straightest path, you could say. Um, it definitely had the ups and downs, but it's it's more of those mental blocks. You just have to kind of keep fighting through everything, even if there's the lows. You kind of just have to fight through some of those to get to the highs. And yeah, it's it's difficult. There's so many things you have to kind of fight through and keep battling people may think um they're they're against you um but you just kind of have to put that to the side and just keep fighting and and like like it's happening now sometimes it just kind of works out and i'm happy where i am now and how the, how uh things are going so i mean i'm, I'm pretty proud for i am now getting called up to the national team uh for the second time but this this one means a lot just the hard work i put in the last couple of years um yeah i'm very honored the the path to get there, Dom, I don't need to tell you, but for everyone to, to really underscore, it's not the same for everyone. It's always unique. It's always got its own challenges. But you think about your situation, the timing of it all. You are a pro. You are a bona fide pro. You have family commitments. You have a life outside of football too. But at your age, did you feel like with all the success you've had, 28 years old, got to go to Poland, the time is now for me? Yeah. No, that is exactly the the stuff that was going through my head. I felt like um it, it needed to be now or never it was the do or die moment and i knew i had to take the chance i had to gamble on myself go to europe and kind of fight with everyone else and things have worked out i think i think all the hard work that i've put in things are starting to kind of roll and i i believe just the hard work i've put in is starting to kind of show a bit of a full circle moment, no doubt, for you and your family as well. Mom and dad being born in Poland, you get the chance to go over. It's It's been nearly impossible for you to be taken out of the team, let alone starting all the matches that you've done. It, it's been so cool to see. And now to take it back to today and this week, the call. We spoke to Jacob Schaffelberg on One Soccer the other day. Your former teammate, Jordan Wilson and Andy Petrillo, asked him about what it would mean to go back to the men's national team. And, and he said... When I was there in that moment, at that point in his career, it was a bit uh, of a moment of being awestruck and just trying to absorb everything. And he felt that when that call comes for him next, he'll be more prepared for it because of the maturity that he's been able to obtain the success. Do you feel similar with your call from 2019 in and around that Nations League camp and and the steps you've taken from year one at Cavalry to Corona Kielsa today? 100%. I think the way he phrased it was 100% correct. I think the first time you go in, yeah, you are a bit starstruck. There's these unbelievable players, the the level they're playing at, where they're playing at, and you're kind of, you almost feel like you're just participating in this. Um, but now, after all the hard work and the, the grind you have to do over the last couple of years, now I know I've earned it to kind of come back in the sense, now I, I know I've put in the hard work that going back, I'm not just going to go trying to be a participant. I'm going to fight and... Uh, get on that field, earn a spot, and that's uh, that's exactly right. What Jacob said. It's it's not the second time. It's it's very different. Take us through the phone call, if you would. How do you hear? Is it John and the staff keeping tabs on you over the years? Because once you're in that environment in 2019, you you're on the radar. You're in the family, especially as you continue to improve. But is it John who calls? Is it an assistant coach? Is it your agent? For the people who always dream of that call in that moment, walk us through what it was like for you. Uh, the first time in 2019, it was a phone call uh, from John Herdman. And that that was, yeah, again, part of the whole 
kind of starstruck moment. You get this phone call. You have too many emotions that kind of go through through your mind. Um, this time around, yeah, they're they're kind of keeping tabs on you, uh, kind of sending some messages here and there. And this this time it was it was a message, a text message going through, and then getting a phone call. But it wasn't this time with John Herbert. It was just with the with some of the staff. What's but going again, through your head when that text message comes in, Dom? Is it um, is it is exhilaration? Is it just a business approach because you know that there's an opportunity here? Who are you calling or texting first? Does it ever feel different? Did it feel different the second time? <laughs> no, I think the emotions are still flying. Um, it, it's you don't know you can't really put words to it. I mean, it, there's it's an honor. I mean, you're you're being selected to represent your country, and that's that's one of the things you fight for as a player. When you, when you see the Canadian Maple Leaf, that's something you want, you, you want to wear, you want to have on you and uh, represent. And I think the emotions were, were crazy when I still got that. But again, now it's the second time the, the mentality now dealing with it is a little bit different. The focus is to, okay, get yourself prepared. You know, you put in the work, you know, uh, you're, in, you're playing well. And it's just, it's about just, taking over and uh it's about going in there and showing up i know when there's a world cup or any big football tournament i get to know enough footballers to know that they don't watch the sport the match the same way that i would or or a, a diehard supporter but it's more tactical it's more intense because you're you're trying to envision yourself there because you believe you should be there with qatar with 2022 with this opportunity in front of you with the co-hosting of 2026 in canada how do you see yourself fitting into that fold? Especially like, again, I don't, I don't want to put things too far in front of you, but you got to have that self-belief that you should be there, right? 100%. That's, that's the goal. That's the dream is to fight every single day to make sure that you're part of that roster uh, for your time uh, in the World Cup in Canada. That's, that's the goal. And uh, now this is just a stepping stone. It's, it's a block and you just got to keep, keep taking uh, steps forward. and keep fighting to make sure that in four years time, you're part of that uh, selected roster. I only have a couple questions, a couple minutes left for you. So two questions. First of all, I've decorated my set just for you. With the Cavalry and the York United shirts, a word on the Canadian Premier League, obviously a big moment for Victor Latoury as well. Lucas McNaughton getting the call, Joel Waterman, seeing these players take those steps, the January camp that saw so many CPLers go there. When you reflect on that time in the Canadian Premier League, let me phrase it this way. Would Dominic Sator be getting this call in 2023 without the Canadian Premier League? No, the, the, the Premier League gave me that platform to shine, gave me that platform to, to showcase my abilities. So without, with, without the league, there wouldn't be this call up. So I, I'm forever grateful for the league and for both Cavalry and York giving me the opportunities to, to showcase my abilities for each club respectively. And they've given me the, the platform to kind of showcase my abilities to now move forward and get this opportunity in Poland and now uh, a chance to represent Canada. Dom, you're not going to be the last CPL alum to get this call, but you were in the league for quite some time in a position where you could see everything in front of you. An eight-team league, you get to know the guys pretty well. How many players do you believe will be on John's radar and have a realistic shot for 2026 as this league continues to grow? Because you know the quality better than anybody else. Yeah, honestly, I feel like there's definitely a handful of guys in the league that are 100% capable of representing the representing the country. I think there's as the league's growing, so are so are the so is the quality of the players, and I think John Her Herdman will definitely keep uh, tabs on the league and the players uh, going through it. Well, I know a lot of people in your hometown, Dom, especially Cavalry supporters, will be very excited to see you back in red and white. A massive congratulations to you. This is so very well deserved. And thank you for sharing your time and your story with us. All the best in this camp. And hey, I know we'll, we'll be keeping a close eye on you as we have done over here at One Soccer. Thanks, Dom. Perfect. Yeah, no worries. Thanks again for having me.